Hello, my name is Jessica Anguiano. I am the teacher of Group 2 in CELEX. In this session, we are going to see Unit 7, that is called Fabulous Food. In this unit, we are going to see vocabulary about food, story time related to cooking, the grammar, quantifiers, there is, there are, any, some, a, and, a few, a little, how many, and how much. The point number three and number four are related, and this is when you are talking about countable and uncountable food. And we're going to distinguish the difference between them. And the last part is paragraph. We're going to learn how to write a paragraph and how it is divided. Let's start. In this first point, we are going to see vocabulary about food. You can follow the activity on page 112. In here, the vocabulary is divided into two different sections, super sandwiches and pizza perfection. In super sandwiches, as we can see here, this is a sandwich. We are going to see the food that it's uh, used to create something like this. So, what you need to do is match the vocabulary with the images using a line. So I'm going to give you time for you to analyze it. This is cucumbers, pepinillos, bread, pan, turkey, pavo, lettuce, le lechuga, mustard, mostaza. So the number one, which one do you think it is? That one. Then we have, okay, the next one is turkey, so this is the one they cook in Thanksgiving days, yes. Then you have lettuce, this is the green one, and the last one is mustard, the yellow. Good. Now, in the next section we are going to have pizza perfection it's going to be the same this is pizza and you need all these ingredients for you to cook this green peppers mushrooms tomato sauce olives onions green peppers pimientos so that will be mushrooms these are champignones which one do you think it is? Correct. Then tomato sauce, salsa de tomate, olives, aceitunas, onions, cebolla. So you need to remember this vocabulary when you are preparing a sandwich or a pizza so you can practice this. The second activity is story time. You have the activity on page 114 and 15. In this activity, first of all, you need to read the story that is related to a surprise for mom. And when you finish reading, you need to answer the activity on page 115. So this is the same information I have here. So first of all, read the story and then you are going to continue answering this activity mentioning if it's true or false. In the number one you have Amy and Luke want to make breakfast for their mother. So that is that is false because they want to prepare but not breakfast. They want to prepare dinner. The second one says there aren't any onions for the pizza so remember that this is no they don't have any of them zero onions that is true so they don't have and they need them 
Number three says, Amy and Luke eat all cheese and olives. So they have, well, they have, but they ate it. And they don't have any more. So that is true. They were hungry. Number four, there isn't any turkey, so they don't have turkey. Remember that turkey, Pavo? That is false because they have. And as you can see in the images, that there is the turkey. The number five says there isn't a surprise for their mom so that they didn't surprise her and that is that is false because the surprise was that the kitchen was very dirty a complete mess as you can see here let's continue with the next one in the number three you have the topic there is there are any and some then in the first part we need to know the difference between there is and there are so you are gonna use there is when you have a singular noun this is one there is se utiliza cuando es una sola cosa singular then there are you are gonna use it when you have a plural noun so when you have more than two there are se utiliza cuando tenemos dos o más sustantivos singular plural now the second part is using some and any some you use it with affirmative sentences some se utiliza cuando la oración es afirmativa any you are gonna use it with negative and interrogative forms any se utiliza para oraciones negativas y para preguntas so let's practice this in this activity that you have on page 116. The instruction says, circle the correct answer. There is tomato sauce and the pizza. First of all, you need to know that this is affirmative. Aquí tenemos la oración que es positiva. Si nos vamos a las reglas gramaticales, la correcta sería, there is some because some is used with affirmative and you have a positive sentence second one there are sandwiches in my bag so you have a positive sentence affirmative sentence so you need to use some now in the number three there are rent olives in the kitchen so you have a negative sentence and as you have here the negative form you need to use any the number four again you have a negative form there isn't lettuce in my sandwiches if you have a negative form you need to use any in the number five you have a question are there olives yes there are when you have a question interrogative form you need to use any the number six is again a question there any cheese you already have any but you need to pay attention if you need is or are so this part cheese is only one singular that's why you need to use is as you have here in the answer let's continue with more the next topic is a and a few a little how many and how much on page 120 here what you need to know is that you're gonna use how many when you when you can count the things cuando se puede contar el sustantivo se utiliza how many when you have uncountable nouns, you need to use how much. How much se utiliza cuando no podemos contar los sustantivos. 
The second rule you need to remember is the use of the articles and a. Uh. You're gonna use and when you have a vowel sound next to this and apple. Tenemos una vocal, cuando tenemos una vocal, tengo que usar antes el artículo an. The second part says that when you have a consonant sound, you are gonna use the article a. Cuando tenemos una consonante, usamos el artículo a. A tomato. You, knowing this, we're gonna practice answering the activity. The number one says, there is orange in my bag. Singular, tenemos singular, orange, o, oh, vowel sound, tenemos una vocal. So you're gonna use an. Number two says, there isn't, you have a negative sentence. Si lo recordamos bien, el som se utiliza con positivos, pero aquí hay negativo. So you need to use much. And also the cheese, you cannot count cheese. El queso no lo podemos contar. Much. Number three. I don't like negative form. Tenemos negativo, pero los dos se pueden usar con negativos. Hay que ver si se cuenta o no. I don't like pizza toppings. Aquí no estamos contando la pizza, estamos contando los toppings que son los ingredientes extra. So, you can count this. That's why you are going to use many. In the number four, you have, can I have glass of milk? Un vaso de leche. As you have glass, you need to use a. Están ofreciendo solamente un vaso, no muchos. Un vaso. Number five says, my uh, mom makes food for birthday parties. Food, that is comida. And food, you cannot count food. That's why a few you cannot use it. You need to use a lot of. Number six. There are only vitamins in chocolate. Vitamins. You can count vitamins. When you count the things, you need to use a few. And a little you use it for uncountables. Aquí la regla es que la few se utiliza para las cosas que sí se cuentan. Y el alidol para las que no se cuentan, pero las vitaminas sí las podemos contar. 7. I don't eat negative form and some is for positives, so you need to use much. I don't need much bread for breakfast. Last one. Please put sugar on my cereal. Some, because this is positive. Let's continue with more. In the last part, you are going to know how to write a paragraph. Vamos a aprender cómo escribir un párrafo completo. You can follow the activities on page 124. Aquí tenemos las actividades en la página 124. The thing you need to know is that the paragraph is divided into title, topic sentence, Detail sentence and final sentence. El párrafo va a estar dividido en cuatro partes. El título, the title says what you are talking about. El título nos dice de lo, de lo que vamos a estar hablando. The topic sentence explains the main idea. La oración principal va a explicar de lo que se trata nuestro párrafo. La oración principal. Detail sentence es la oración que nos da más información, add more information. The final sentence summarizes and gives an opinion. En la oración final vamos a hacer un resumen breve y vamos a dar una opinión. In this section we are going to practice uh, and distinguish the different sections in which a paragraph is written. Vamos a ver cómo está dividido un párrafo. Como lo habíamos visto, la primera parte es el título, 
We have the title, My Favorite, My Favorite Breakfast, by Laura Brown. The second part is the topic sentence. Aquí tenemos la oración principal del tema. I like a lot of different things for breakfast, but I have my favorite breakfast every Sunday morning. Aquí estamos diciendo que nuestra oración principal va a ser de nuestro desayuno favorito. Y estamos mencionando que siempre lo consumimos, pero el, el domingo, en la mañana. The next sentence is the detailed sentence. Aquí vamos a tener que dar más detalles. I start with some orange slices cold from the fridge. Primero empiezo con unas rebanadas de naranja frías del refri. Then my mother makes two fluffy pancakes for me. Después mi mamá hace hot cakes para mí. I put butter on them and then I put warm maple syrup on top. Después de que mi mamá me hace los pancakes, yo les pongo la mantequilla y miel de maple en la superficie. Then, the pancakes are delicious with a glass of cold milk. Después, consume los pancakes, los hot cakes, con leche, un vaso de leche fría. In the last sentence, you have the final sentence, que esta sería una opinión personal al, al final. My favorite breakfast makes Sundays special. Mi desayuno favorito hace mi domingo un día especial. Now, in this section, you need to write your own favorite breakfast. So, take the time you need, ask your parents to help you, and you need to write your own favorite breakfast. Aquí vamos a tener un espacio de práctica donde deben describir Ahora, su desayuno favorito, como en el ejemplo que vimos hace un momento. And that's all from this unit 7. Uh, don't forget to answer the workbook on page 9203 for you to continue practicing. No se olviden de contestar el workbook número 7 de la página 90103 para seguir practicando con estos temas. Esperamos este video haya sido de su agrado. Y nos veremos la siguiente clase. See you later. Bye bye.